Hey guys, welcome to more Girls Incarcerated updates and tea. So first is Brianna Guerrera, and she's definitely one of my favorite girls from the show, and she's definitely straightened up the most since the show. I think one of the main reasons that she really straightened up her life is due to her son, Cartier, and it's just really amazing to see her sort her priorities out and put him first. She seems like she loves motherhood. However, she doesn't have contact with her baby's father because he's in prison and he's gonna be in prison for a while. Last time I saw anything on it, it was about like seven to eight years and a lot of people were coming for her for sticking by his side because they still are together. So Brianna basically posted on her Instagram that she appreciates everyone caring about her, but that her relationship is her relationship and she's basically made up her mind with staying with him. Another really respectable thing about Brianna is she's made it a mission in her life to keep her son close with his brother because before him and Brianna got together, he had another son named Corey with another girl, but Brianna seems to not really mind and her and the baby mama get along so she's always posting pictures of her and her stepson hanging out however this video is not just an update video this is also a tea video so I'm gonna be spilling a little bit of problems that Brianna Guerrero has been connected to lately Brianna has been ridiculed quite a bit because she's been caught lying while asking for money multiple times because it has been known that a couple of the girls do ask for money over social media and use cash app and stuff which is completely fine if people are actually consenting to give money but people found a problem with Brianna because she wasn't being quite honest as to what she was using the money for she would ask for money for diapers for her son and not use it on that also she participates in creating fake IDs so a lot of people are coming for her saying why would you ever do anything that could jeopardize you being around your son? Like you could get in trouble for that and you could get locked up. Next up is Aubrey Wilson and she was one of the girls that struggled to really stay on the correct path. Even right after she was released from the show, she seemed to get in trouble with her friend again. So she's just always been caught up in that cycle with life and it seems like she is still caught up in that. Unfortunately, I really wished that I didn't have to report on this about her, but it seems like she's still struggling with addiction she posted a facebook live a couple months ago where she was at a hotel so she's obviously not living in a stable home and in this live you can visibly tell that she's under the influence of something it's really sad to watch but she's twitching she's erratic she cannot sit still for the life of her so obviously she's under the influence of something in this and i think a lot of her problem has to do with the fact that she surrounds herself with really shitty boys. I've followed her for a while and I know that she seems to be jumping from hotel to hotel with boys. In fact, she posted a picture on her social media a couple months ago when she's standing with her boyfriend. He has a knife to her neck and there's visible drug paraphernalia all over the counter. Like they didn't even try to hide it whatsoever. It got so obvious that Aubrey was struggling with addiction again that even Brianna reached out to her on her Facebook. She posted on her wall that she was just thinking about her and she really cared about her and didn't want her to go down the wrong path again. And once again, I really respect Brianna for this. I really hope that Aubrey gets on the right track because she's done it before. She's been to her sober classes before. So I know she has it in her. She's just in a really toxic environment right now. And I hope that everything works out for her. Next up is Heidi Lakin. And these pictures are old of her. Like I'm talking 2018, 2019, because since 2020, there's been basically no trace of Heidi Lakin, and that's because she's also going down a really rough path right now. She's been arrested numerous times since the show's ended for things like possession of drug paraphernalia, burglary, and other things. Her most recent arrest mugshot is this one. I know it's hard to get out of a cycle that you've been used to for so long and that you've grown up around, but I really hope that Heidi Lakin gets on track. The next update is on Chrissy Hutchinson. These pictures are also quite old because unfortunately the update that I have on her is that 
she is in prison on an armed robbery charge. She stopped becoming as active on social media and it's really sad because right before she ended up in prison she was posting a lot of sad posts on her Facebook that kind of hinted at the fact that she wasn't doing that well. However, her sentence was for six years and her earliest release date is in 2023. Next is Paige McAtee, who is also one of my favorite girls because her transformation has been huge since the show. She has become a mother to a little boy named Xavion, and she's been a great mother because not only does she make time for him, but she also goes to school because she's expressed that she wants to work in the dental area. Back last year, there was a lot of controversy connected to Paige because of something that she chose to do on the internet in order to make money for her and her family because she's very vocal on her social media that she struggles to get everything that she has. She has her own place by herself. She supports her and she has to support her dad as well. So she chose to do a certain thing that I'm not going to expand on that much. You, you guys probably know what it is. Well, basically people just had a lot to say about that. People are always gonna voice their opinions and stuff. I'm just not going to do that here in this video. I'm here to deliver information and move on. During the beginning of summer, there were a lot of rumors circulating around that Paige was possibly pregnant. However, she never really answered to any of these rumors until she announced that she was pregnant and she only posted when she was about seven to eight months pregnant so she was already really far along in her pregnancy she kept it a secret for a while but she revealed that she was having a baby boy that she was gonna name Roman. During her pregnancy, Paige kept attending school and doing the best that she could, so I really respect that about her. On February 29th, Paige had her second son, Roman, which now made her a mother to two beautiful boys, and one thing that I really admire about Paige is she always just manages to get shit done no matter what. She still stayed up with her school, she's a mother to two boys, and if you follow her on social media, you see that she has a hard time making ends meet a lot, but despite that, she still manages to get everything done, so she's really a boss ass bitch in my book. The next update is on Cassie St. John, and if you watched my previous update video on these girls, then you would have known that after the show when Cassie was 18 years old, she caught an armed robbery charged and was sent back to prison. She was originally sentenced to seven years, but after serving two years, she was released in September of 2019 to serve the rest of her time on house arrest. Pretty much right after Cassie got out, she posted a bunch of pictures smiling with her family, so you could tell that she was definitely happy being out, but I feel like the best part of her being out was her being able to bond with her daughter Amore. Cassie really didn't get the chance to be the mother that she wanted to be because she was locked up at such an early period in Amore's life. In fact, I believe she never even got to raise her period. Like, Amore just went immediately to her mother and her sister, and that's where she was raised until Cassie was released. So now that she's released, she gets so much time with her daughter. Another really sad thing that Cassie had to go through though was the loss of her baby daddy. I believe he passed away from a seizure before Warm was even born. So that's a really hard situation for Cassie to be pushing through. And another problem that people think is in Cassie's life sometimes is her mother. And Cassie has even spoke on this. She says that she has a rocky relationship with her mom. But at the end of the day, she would punch anyone in the mouth for her mother. There are discussion boards on Reddit talking about how Cassie's mother has acted during some of Cassie's lives sometimes. And they've called out the environment that Cassie and her daughter are living in, but she seems to be doing great and taking really good care of her daughter, so I'm super happy for her. Next is Armani Buckner, and she was the girl on the show that had the relationship with Lexi Miller, and I know she was a favorite for a lot of people due to that relationship. The only recent update that I have on her is when I visited her page, and on April 5th, she posted something that made people worry a little bit about her, and just four days later after that post, it came out that Armani was arrested for criminal mischief 
and disorderly conduct. And basically, criminal mischief is the damage, defacing, alteration, or destruction of any type of tangible properties. And that's really all that I have on Armani right now. I believe she's still locked up, but don't quote me on that. Um, I really hope that she also gets her life on track. It's really sad to see these girls reach out through social media posting really sad statuses such as the ones that Chrissy did as well, and then she turned to crime as well. It's really sad to watch these girls cry out for help. Next up is Amanda Carroll, and on my last update video, there were a lot of comments like, who is this girl? I don't even remember this girl. So this is what she looked like on the show. Um, if you watch the show, you gotta know all the girls, guys. So this is Amanda. There isn't much to update on when it comes to her. She's still with the same boyfriend that was was posted in the first update video and she's been staying out of trouble and just really low-key. The next update is on Courtney Rosenberger and in my previous update video I mentioned that she was still experiencing run-ins with the law and unfortunately that's still kind of the case although it hasn't been in a while the last time was in January. On January 23rd of 2020 Courtney was arrested for possession of a contained substance, which was methamphetamine. They later dropped that charge. Criminal possession of a forged instrument and carrying a concealed weapon. In my last update video, I mentioned that she was dating a boy named Cody, and I did a little more digging, and he actually turns out to be from a show called 60 Days In. And I don't know if you've ever watched that show, but if you do, you might remember the tater tot fight. He was involved in the tater tot fight. He was the long haired boy in that. So they dated a little bit, but Cody ended up getting locked up again in March of 2018. His charges for this arrest are resisting law enforcement, using a vehicle as a deadly weapon, possession of cocaine, reckless driving, and having a warrant out of the county. I don't know how long his sentence is, but I do know that Courtney has expressed that she's going to stick by his side and she really loves him. She mentioned on one of her Instagram lives that she even has his name tattooed on her arm, so this really seems like a serious relationship to her and I hope this is a good thing for her despite all of his charges. My last update on Nadja Pollard basically consisted of just saying that she was really low-key and didn't have social media. But now she's popped back up. I know a lot of people liked her because of her story and everyone just had a lot of sympathy for what she was going through and was curious as to when she would ever get out of that environment and fortunately she has. She has a stable home now but she is happy. She's doing well. She has a lot of friends that she surrounds herself with and she's really confident on her social media. However, there was a little bit of controversy connected to her lately because of her choice of job that she decided to do through her social media. I'm not really going to get into the details of that, but you guys can probably put two and two together and figure out what I'm referring to. You guys can do your further research if you'd like, but I'm just not going to expand on it any further. Next is Taryn Twine, and she's definitely another one of my favorites because she basically voluntarily submitted herself into prison due to the guilt she had attached to what happened to her and her friend, which I thought was really respectable. She keeps a really low-key life these days. She lives in either Washington or Oregon, I'm not quite sure, but she's been staying out of trouble and just doing great. Next is Sarah Maxwell, and the only really new update that I have on her is she's met a guy and she's in a relationship with him. I hope this relationship is something really good for her life and he gives her the affection that she's always deserved. So the next update is on Lexi Miller, but I'm going to keep her update really simple because last video that I posted, her boyfriend got really upset that I basically did an update on her, so I'm just going to keep it at she lives with her boyfriend, she had her baby girl named Clementine in October, and they are happy. And the last update is on Faith Holbert, who if you watched my last video, basically you would know that she was dating a girl who had a previous child, so she was helping basically raise that child and she was working at McDonald's. However, her Facebook now says that she's single. 
I don't know if she's still working at McDonald's because it does say that, but I don't think she's in that relationship anymore, so she's kind of just focusing on herself, and she's been staying out of trouble ever since her last charge that she had, which I did not include in my update video. She had gotten this charge months before I even made that video, so she hasn't gotten another charge on her record in almost a year. However, this incident was regarding disorderly conduct. 